Hello, ladies and germs, especially ladies. This is for you. I just wanted to take a minute and do a video about traveling alone. Um, I've had a lot of people and to, to make comments worried about me whenever I go places by myself. And a lot of comments like, oh, you should carry a gun and aren't you afraid? And what are you going to do? And blah, blah, blah. Let somebody know where you are. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Of course I would let somebody know where I am. I mean, that's, you know, that's just basic, you know, you just do that. Um, you know, I've been traveling alone for, you know, quite a while. I just got tired of waiting for somebody that wants to do the things that I wanted to do. And so I just figured, screw it, I'm just going to go. And the first time I traveled alone was when I got my... Um, scuba diving certification in September a few years ago and I was so excited I had to go somewhere I couldn't wait for somebody to be ready to go or to you know go with me and I didn't really know anybody else that had their scuba diving certificate so I think I got my certification on September 9th and within a week I was booked and ready to go to Bonaire and have my first scuba diving experience and it was absolutely great I called myself the orphan at the resort I was at. I hooked up with groups that had come from Minnesota, from California. You know, I, there was endless amount of people to do stuff with. Um, of course, I one of the good things about I don't drink, so I always have my faculties together for the most part. So you know, that's just kind of a plus. I don't, you know, I can't drink because I get way too crazy. So. So I don't, and in a story. <laughs> and since I've been traveling with Comp Health, um, I, I have just been going to a lot of different places by myself. Um, I started with a hiking group back in South Dakota, and you know, which was a lot of fun. And I also did a lot of things on my own. And I, I find that for me personally, whenever I do things by myself, um, there's just a lot a sense of peace about it I mean I really do love being with people but for the most part it's just great I think it's nice to have a good balance of doing things with people and doing things by yourself for example this weekend I'm planning to go to Canyonlands and I got a campsite for three nights um, I'd really like to go backpacking but I'm just a little bit nervous uh, to go backpacking in the desert by myself um, without, you know, I just don't feel ready yet. And I have gone backpacking by myself, but I was smart about it. I went to the Sandia Mountains in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I wasn't that far from civilization. And um, it was actually, I'm not going to lie, it was kind of a horrible night because <laughs> I really didn't know what I was doing. But it was a great experience. And even though I was terrified, honestly, I... No, it was just in my head, and I um, don't want that to, you know, I don't want my fears to overcome, you know, the things, the, the joys in life. So I plan on, you know, since the weather has finally warmed up a little bit, um, I have some camping gear that I want to test out. So I thought I would just, you know, test it out at a campsite and, um, you know, do some car camping until I feel ready, and then I'll be definitely out, out there on my own if I need to be, and I'm absolutely fine with that. So anyway, um, there was a lady at work today that we were talking, and I was telling her about going to Utah, and I'd asked one of the doctors to go with me, and uh, she may or may not, which is either way would be fine. Um, and, and, I, and then she was like, well, aren't you afraid? And I thought, and I said, I'm more afraid of boredom and regret. <laughs> and I thought, that is so true. And I, it just kind of came out. And I, I was like, yeah, that's my greatest fear, boredom and regret. I don't want to regret anything. We only have one shot at this world. And I have the, the use of my legs and my arms and my brain right now. And so I just want to be able to use it while I can because it's not going to be there forever. So if you're wondering about uh, traveling alone, you're a woman and you're afraid, you think you need like an Uzi, you know, like all these people are out to get you for some reason, then, 
you know, just as they look at look at reality, because chances are it's not reality, and you've probably been watching too many episodes of Forensic Files and all that, which actually I kind of binge watch those shows, and you know, it's there's hardly ever ever an episode where a woman is, you know, of course it does happen, and we all know that, but it, it's just not likely. I'm living in Gallup, New Mexico right now. Um, I'll be here for about six more weeks, and I'm much more likely to be assaulted in Gallup, New Mexico than in the middle of a wilderness or camping somewhere, so you just don't hear about that. It's just not something you hear about. You're more likely to die if you're a child going to school nowadays, pretty much. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there and just encourage other women who, you know, have this desire in their heart, but there's something holding them back. Go for it, girl. Go for it. Just do something. It doesn't just start slow, just night, maybe a night away. And uh, you're going to find it's a great experience. And the other thing is that the more I'm by myself, I mean, I just really feel energized whenever I travel by myself. There have been some points where I uh, do get lonely, and I found that the times that I get lonely, I'm not balancing things enough. I'm not spending time with people. It's just, it's too much time by myself. So. That's just my experience, and um, I hope you get out there, and please comment, please subscribe, just like this video, let me know what you think, because um, I just really would like to know. So if you are a woman who's thinking about it, or has done it before, um, please just tell me your experience, I'd really like to hear it, and so um, don't let life hold you back, no regrets.